recording. Hello, YouTubers. Uh, welcome, YouTubers, vapers, and vaping voyeurs. Uh, welcome, gang. Uh, thanks for tuning in today. I'm going to be trying to do a lot in a short period of time here, but uh, today is basically Vape Deal Day. Um, this video, of course, brought to you by me, but the product brought to you by Vape Deal. Um, as I've said in, in my previous uh, beginning videos, uh, I'm all about finding good products at good prices that I think personally are built to last and are decent. Um, so we're going to have a couple things today. Like I said, I'm going to try and squeeze it all into one video. So fingers crossed. So here we go. I'm going to be covering the F Frogman tank, the Frogman XL, the C-flat kit, Awesome for starters. I'll get to that in a second. And the N1 Pro 240 kit. Now, the the 240 kit comes with the Frogman tank, but I'll explain more about that later as to why I have this separate. Um, but all these things you can get on, on vapedo.com. So, without further ado, down to the nitty gritty. This is a review. Let me go ahead and I'm going to do quite a bit when I go down and show you some of this stuff. So. Um, first thing I want to point out though is, and, and I know this may sound silly when it comes to packaging, but I have the, the box covers, once you take the sleeves off, the box covers here, and I'm going to show you why. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully it's not too blurry. They put some information on top, and I'm going to tell you right now, I, I give kudos to when, whenever I think they do packaging right. Yeah, it makes it feel more like a premium product, um, especially with some of the information they put on here. Like for instance, I'll read this here for you, and you have to forgive me. Usually, I have contacts. I had a little problem with my right eye recently, so I'm I have uh, yeah, I have my good old glasses on for right now. So let's see here. Silk. Uh, this is no. This is regarding their Smooth Tech flavor optimization. Um, I'll go ahead and give a little bit of away right now. The Frogging Tank is awesome on their flavor. Um, but they're talking about silky tex silky tech discount tongue, silky texture, massive vapor, original taste, original technology, organic cotton, techaholic. That's what we are. Endless pursuit of science and technology. And I'm going to tell you what um, they've proven that, especially with the tank and the C flat kit. So I just want to give kudos on that uh, on the, on these boxes here. Uh, it may sound silly, but I. I give kudos where kudos are due because make no mistake, I will give negative remarks where they are due as well. So now, without further ado, I know Eric, Iraq, e right? Uh, yeah, great short video so far. Um, go, we're gonna go ahead and go down. I'm gonna show you all these products kind of at once and go over a little bit on each one, come back up, go over some more of the specs on the manuals and uh, yeah. Let's get right to it, shall we? No better time than the present, I say. Uh, I'm gonna have to get some of this stuff out of the way. And let's go. All right, so now that we are down low, the first device I'm gonna be covering, let me get it off the mod here. Go ahead and open up these juice bottles I have over here because one of the things I, I'm going to show you is, is uh, one of the kudos I have for the tank, especially when it comes to the film method. Um, but this is the Frogman tank. I love this design. Don't know why, for some reason, that Frogman just sticks right out at me. Now, just in case you wanted to know, the bottom airflow does have a stopper, both directions. I think it's the perfect amount of airflow. This is not gonna be wide open style where like uh, an, an RDA where you're gonna to get tons and tons of airflow, but you get just what I think you need. Um, and you still get plenty of clouds and the flavor is awesome. Now, if you saw that, I pulled, pulled off that top, top uh, the tip. It is all one piece. It is a 510 style, so you could technically still put a 510 if you didn't like this, but it works for me. I actually like it. The fill method, awesome. All you do is you push down, turn, pops right off. You fill down, you see that down there? 
That is a rubber gasket. First kudos I give on this tank. It's this rubber gasket. Watch when I feel this, what happens. Boom, I stick it in there. It pushes the rubber seal down. When I pull it up, it seals right back. I'm telling you right now, I've used this for at least four days and I've had no, I repeat, no leaking whatsoever. Yes, as you see, you can spill some of your own juice in here by accident and it just takes a little bit of a, you know, Kleenex, paper towel, what have you, and it just cleans it right up if you're even worried about it. Just a little bit more in here, boom, boom, easy to fill, and you're done. You simply take this top here, cut two little notches to go to that, push down, turn, you're done. That simple. I love this red glass. Now, I will show you the... Um, just so you know, it does come with the extra glass, but it is clear. And just for the record, I will also show underneath. Dun, 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 dun. E rock, get your fingers to work. You do get an extra coil. And I'll when we come back, when we go back up, I'll, I'll go over the specs on the coils. Um, and you get some extra uh, O-rings in there as well. So that's the Frogman XL tank, five mil version, by the way. And we'll go over the specs when I do come back up. Next, I actually want to cover the N1 Pro 240 watt kit. And this is kind of interesting to say the least. Um, I do love the design. I love the black and gold. I will show here in a second. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and pull it up. I'm gonna go ahead and show you, make this even easier. I don't believe you should have to wait to find out or go scanning to find out yes let's add this as an image done and I'm just going to show you real quick this these are the color options you have black and gold black and red and then you have the white version but I live in Vegas too much dust white would never last although I would love white white and red and white and gold so that's your color options but let's get to it right now i currently have it in three battery mode let me lift this camera up just a hair hopefully i won't wind up showing you too much of my couch and what's in the background like i said hopefully <laughs> so mod it's currently on right now just like most mods five clicks on but when you do the five clicks, that does not turn it off. It just locks it. It will, and I tried finding it in the manual. I couldn't as of yet, but it will eventually time out and uh, actually turn off. But I don't know what that time is. Anyway, that's unlocked. Let's go over this design first. This is three battery mode. Some people complain about these three ridges up here because it does kind of make the tank... Um, look a little for those who are OCD look a little offset you see that there like it's raised um, but if you look at this design the way that curves up um, personally I have no problem when I'm vaping on it I don't even notice it and I actually like that fact because uh, I've never tried other tanks on here it keeps it and helps prevent it from scratching and make making tons of marks on top some people really bugs them me I, I don't I, I it didn't bother me at all I like how they kind of centered it a little bit and at least they didn't put this 510 all the way towards the front but still obviously you put a 30 mil on here you know what's gonna happen real nice I don't know if this is some type of zinc alloy but um, this three battery mode does have a little weight to it has this venting here for the battery unique venting down here for the board and I think for the battery as well on the sides but I actually like how it gives that little extra design to it. Um, style, I should say. Of course, there's the bottom. And unlike some that like to just stick their manufacturer's name on there right in your face, this one is so subtle. You see that? Vape Dio, I love how they, it's very subtle. I love how they did that. Now, let's go ahead. You push this button. You have two batteries. 
course with a nice ribbon that you can pull out the batteries. I will say, you just can pull one out. It is marked. I kind of wish that that marking for the plus and minus was offset like a white color to make it a little more easier to see, but you can see it. I mean, I'm not blind, but still it would just be nicer. It makes it a lot uh, easier to see. And of course, that's where the third battery goes. Now, this is the box that it all came in. This is the Frogman 2 mil version um, for the uh, EU TPD compliant, extra glass, of course underneath you'll get extra coil and ribbon. But mostly I'm wanting to show you the two battery door configuration. Let me go ahead and, it's real simple. You have these two little notches up top. And of course these two metals connect to close the circuit. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. Click, you heard that. This is the two battery configuration. Now, personally I love three. It's more curved for the curve of my hand. Um, I do know someone that has and uses just the two battery door, but for me, I, it's kind of wide on the flat back side. Once again, subtle logo, love that. But for me, it's really flat on that back side and wrapping my fingers around, I have average hands and yes, these are the most unsexiest hands you'll see, thank you. But I have average hands and I keep wanting to, to do it like this. And it just doesn't feel natural for me like this. And it's just too wide for my hands anyway. Um, kind of uncomfortable. But I know someone that has smaller hands and they say, um, well, I should say she says it's perfect. She loves it in the two-door um, configuration. So to each their own. But personally, I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Personally, real simple, push that button. Personally, like I said, catch. Click, one, two, three, four, five, boom. And we'll vape this when I come back up. But as you see, I, I love color screens. This one is kind of small, but I'm gonna tell you, I just love color screens. The, the, the days of the old grayscale and stuff, that needs to really go away. Ooh, reflection of my tree in the background. Nice, thank you, daddy. No. Um, the menu system's easy to operate through, but the top is you see power, your voltage, your uh, atomizer, yeah, yeah, that's a huge coil, but no, that's what it reads when there's nothing on there. And then it tells you one, two, three. Now, I didn't show you, but if I actually put this in two battery mode, what happens is this third will show blank. I'm gonna cover the menu system real quick. Just know that bypass mode only works when you have it in three battery mode. So, sorry folks. This does go to 240, two battery mode, 200, whether it hits either of those, actually, I don't have the equipment to test, but I can tell you it does hit hard enough for me. Fire is quick enough for me, and we'll do that more when we come up. Three clicks, gets you in there. You see this is the out mode, the output mode. You click that, there's your options. You have your regulated bypass, of course, temperature control. For those who wanna know, yes, you do have stainless steel, nickel, titanium, nichrome, and of course you have a couple of memory settings you can do as well. Go to that little back button, boom. Now I'm gonna to go to the next screen because this is kind of important for people to know. The next screen system, this is a temperature units, Celsius, Fahrenheit. Uh, of course your TCR, this is the only kind of odd thing. TCR data, this is where you would actually set if you wanna change the wattage of whatever temperature mode you're in. So yeah, you can you can change your temperature, but if you wanna change the wattage, and of course your coefficient ratio at the bottom, this is where you do it. So just FYI on that, let me go ahead and get on out of there. And you can set a custom power curve, your smoke time, sleep time for the screen, and that's it. Real simple, most people, power mode, you're right there. This is where you're gonna live. Up and down on the wattage. Scrolls pretty fast for my uh, taste. Starts slow, but then it kinda speeds up. But at least, at least it's not like some that I've done where it's been like, you know, 50 miles an hour and I go 30 watts over what I want. So that's quickly over the mod. I will say the texture of this mod 
is great. Uh, the feel, at least for three battery mode for me, is awesome. We'll, but we'll cover more of that when I come up. Now, the C flat kit. This is a little mouth to lung device that I'm going to tell you. I personally, even though I don't usually do mouth to lung, I actually like this device. Now, I gave it to my wife and let her test it for a while. She did like it, but I, uh, <laughs> my fault, I've got her graduated and moved on to more tank styles now. So the, she's, she's graduated beyond this, but I still like this for a portable, stealthy vape when I'm driving. I, I get enough from it. But what you see here is you have the mouthpiece, button, simple operation, five clicks on, five clicks off. You do have to press the fire button to actually vape micro usb on the bottom so and you can uh it does have pass through so you can plug it in and vape it because as of right now i haven't noticed that change colors so when you actually get that battery drained you won't know it until you'll start to know it because the vape isn't as good uh, and the water starts to go down uh, but anyway you simply take this mouthpiece off boom there's the tank. Easy. Watch this. Little click, and you pull out. And I am not kidding you, still four days of use. I have no leakage whatsoever. Simple two connectors here, two connectors there, and perfect timing. I actually need to fill this a little bit. They did, in my opinion, this is where you fill it. They did this fill hole perfect and here I'm going to show you why I say that there's a lot of these pod systems that you got to have a needle nose or get out your syringe watch this regular pipette boom boom I tilt it a little bit to get it even a little more and done but the pipette goes in there that's what impressed me um, this you simply just push right back down and you're done. I will point this out while we're in the down low. Unlike a lot of the pod systems where, you know, you got a little pipe and then you, you can see a coil that's wrapped in cotton that sits up on sides. Look at this. It's actually a miniature, miniature co uh, coil in there. Love that. Everything's nice and self-contained. Just love it. And of course, you see the uh, the juice feed holes at the bottom. Really cool. Now you don't have to worry about when you go to put this back in. There's only one way it'll fit. See, you got to turn it that way. Stick it in. Click. Push it back. Stick it in. Click up. Click back. It's that simple. Stick the mouthpiece on, and you are ready to vape. Only downside to this device, folks my personal opinion they put this little slit here so you can see your juice and the camera yeah i can kind of see it when i'm using it daylight doesn't matter i cannot see squat maybe it's my eyes i wish they would make this maybe a little wider if they really want to use that for purposes of seeing your juice level but for me it takes two seconds pull that off look at your juice put it back on uh, the only other warning i give you if you stick this in a purse pocket whatever this is somewhat a little loose but honestly if you push it nice and tight down there it's not going to fall off that simple but it could easily be bumped off as you see anyway that is the c flat i'll go over the specs when we come up and that folks is the devices that i wanted to cover um, just so you know, if you order the coils for the Frogman tank, they do come in a pack of five, I do believe. Let's see. Pack of five. Yay. Now, I, don't, I don't know if it's the cotton they use on this, but it, I'll talk about this when we come up. The flavor is phenomenal. Um, and this right here, boom, bring the camera back down is what the C flat tanks come in and I'll talk about how long they've lasted for me but you get four in one um, when you order them 
uh, vapedo.com for all that stuff. So let's come on back up. Hopefully, hopefully we're gonna get this shortened. But um, my thoughts, here we go. My thoughts on this, as I've already described for this, my thoughts on this, I love the design. The texture is really nice, easy to hold. I don't ever find it slippery. It does have that little slant up, and of course the tank. Some people aren't gonna like how that tank sits up. Just a little. I personally like it just because it doesn't scratch the top. But when I'm vaping it, I don't notice it. I'm not vaping like this, but some people can't help but notice. If it really bugs you, it may not be for you. Um, just like the the three to two, I'll, I'll tell you this much. They do have a kit, be careful when you go to order. They do have a kit, I think, that only has the two door option. Um, personally, I say get the one that has the two, three. I wouldn't even necessarily, just my personal opinion, unless you just really love the two mil option. By the way, they use the same coil. I love this colored glass. There are some options on that. But if it were, if I were you, when you go to their site, I would order just the mod that has the two, three door option. And then I would order the five mil tank. Um, perfect combination. And I think it comes out to just about the same price as the kit, but they don't currently, it's grayed out. I think they've been out of stock for a while. They don't currently have a kit that comes with the five mil. That's two to three door options, but check them out. It's, uh, it's up to you, but I'm gonna have a quick vape on this. Um, FYI, anytime you put a tank on, doesn't matter if it's the same one, it's gonna ask you new or not. I like it. I hit bump once for yes, gives you immediately the options for what mode you want, regulated, bypass them, regulated. It's two clicks. If I take this off, put it, put it back on, boom. Say I put it back on, I've, whatever. I go to press that fire button, I got one, two, back two. If, if it's just regular, regulated, back to it. So this is 0.15 on this coil, 85 watts. If my voice sounds a little rough, um, Weather change, getting a lot cooler, getting a little under the weather. But here we go. I don't know what it is, but the flavor. I'm not a sub tank guy, a sub ohm tank guy. I'm more of an RDA, RDTA dripper. Um, but I'll give them credit. Uh, the flavor out of this is really good, in my opinion. For a, for a sub ohm tank, um, I have no problem vaping on this at all. It's the flavor is just the design, the tank, uh, just the tank won me over. I'm one of the few sub ohm tanks I'll continue to use, but love that. So, pros and cons it's real simple. The pro, great flavor. I do recommend getting the five mil because I just love that color option. The backup. Um, just so you know, the backup glass is clear for this, but I still love it. Um, the only negative I would say is, yes, it's just 510. So, but at least you can put your own 510. So it's not necessarily negative, it's negative and a pro. But maybe that's how they're getting that good flavor out of it. We'll see. Anyway, the mod. Um, the pro, at least in three, it has a dare I say, I don't want to say another company's name, but it is a certain design and shape to it, but um, it's a little more um, ergonomic in some ways to me. I like it. Love these uh, buttons. I don't know if that's actually aluminum or what that is, but the uh, even though the buttons don't stick out, they're easy to find. You can, the, the texture of them are so different that it's, it's easy to find. Same thing with up and down buttons. Negative, I would say, is if you're a temperature guy, you have to go into that different screen to um, to change your your wattage. But uh, Vapedio, they've been around actually since I think 2015. Um, this is kind of a resurgence for them now in 2017. And um, I like their, their, I won't say first, but their kind of first intro back into the game. Um, they've done really well in this mod. Um, it's definitely very well put together. Uh, I like the design. Um, this firmware is upgradable, so maybe they may change where you have to go to change the wattage eventually. We'll see. So that's the mod. This, the next one I want to get to. 
the C flat kit. I highly recommend this to someone who's just getting off cigarettes, going to vaping. To me, I, I love the draw. I think it's perfect. For those who want to know, because sometimes the amount of nicotine juice you would put in something like this, you kind of need to know this. And I, I love the fact they actually put it in the manual. The coils are one ohm coils. This device, 350 mAh battery, had, I think, yeah, 15 watts. So you're going to start off at the one ohm coil at 15 watts. And obviously, as you go and drain that battery down, it's it's you're not going to get that 15 watts and you'll notice it go down but i will say this this is not an all day just puff and not have to worry about charging it till later so you will need to have a micro usb cable handy but if you're at work or what have you and you have one it does not take long i think it took me like 15 20 minutes to charge this thing up and plus it does have the pass through so if you are in your car and it goes you can stick uh, you know usb and and keep vaping it uh, so, I think I started the ums again, so feel free to count the ums. So, I love this device. I do highly recommend this for someone that's just wanting to get off cigarettes. Um, and since you know it's a one ohm coil, 15 watts, you know roughly what kind of milligram nicotine. I would, if you're coming off straight off marble reds, maybe an 18, at least a 12 on the milligram juice that you put in here. These are, fill, you know, obviously refillable. I've refilled this at least, that was the fifth time in four or five days, and I'm still getting great flavor off of it. So as far as longevity of these coils, because this is an actual um, small self-contained coil, and I put different juices in here. I've put, you know, more sweet. Um, right now, currently, I'm doing the Victory Redline Tobacco in there for the last couple of days. Um, and for that, if you wanted to know, I've been vaping the Victory Apple all day primarily in that one for the same four or five days on that same coil. So their coils are, are giving great flavor and seem to be lasting a long time. Um, so that is a pro. I don't really have a con for this device other than that little slit to try and see your juice level. It's just too small. Um, but it takes me two seconds to go like this. Oh, okay, good. Love the Pro. I love that refill system. You can get a pipette in there. I've had no leaking out of this whatsoever. Bottom, top, does not matter. I've actually left this sitting down for a while. Got no gurgling when I've lifted it up. So, yeah, they've done a real good job. I do have the, those couple cons. Uh, that little slip there does me no good for seeing the juice level. Um, the other con... Um, I, ha I had on the tank is just if you really wanted to go with a I don't know I'm just not sure if I really like this this drip tip it's just not been necessarily my style but the bonus is it's 510 so you can stick something else but that's just a subjective my personal and the con I had was in two battery mode just did not feel right to me in my hand three battery boom right there in that curve of that hand Good to go. Other than that, all pros, really. Uh, the flavor, I'm just telling you the flavor. Um, I see why on their boxes they put smooth flavor optimization, smooth tech. I'm telling you, because you do get really good flavor out of these. And this still actually puts out a, a little bit. I was kind of surprised. If you actually do a try to do a direct lung, I think they said you can flip it for that. I get the same either way, but uh, I, you can still get a good decent amount of, uh, I think it's got a 10 second cutoff, but you st get, still get a decent amount. Now that was a direct to lung. Um, and that was a mouth to lung. But I get good flavor and I still get a good hit. So, anyway. I think that covers the quick hardware down low part. My pros, my cons, I love, um, I, give a little, I give kudos. Um, it makes it feel a little more premium with that gold inlay. It sounds silly. Is it a 
definitely buy it because of it? No, I just get, I'd like to give kudos where kudos are due. And they are true to their word on this. To me, their smooth technology for their flavor has worked across all devices on these tanks. I've even tried the two mil version. I cleaned it up just because I do plan on possibly giving this away to a friend of mine. Um, and I don't quote me, but I want to say these possibly take other coils as well, but I wouldn't do that. Um, their coils are freaking awesome. Um, but yeah, check them out, vfdo.com. They're really good. A couple real specs before I wrap this up. This is on the Frogman tank. I'll take my glasses off for this, folks. What do you think? Superman? Clark Kent. Superman? Clark Kent. I know. Corny. Here we go. We have... Their coral options are 0.4 Canthal W2. That's going to obviously be a, a dual. 0.15 Canthal Direct. And of course, all these... Uh, I'm sorry. I forgot to cover that. No mouth to lung. I've tried shutting it off. There, there's no mouth to lung option on this. Uh, you just know. They do give you a best. And let me see if I can go ahead and pull that extra coil out. Um, yes, they do tell you like the 0.4 is 30 to 80 watts best 45 to 65. I like the 0.4 um, but I like the 0.15 even better but anyway that will actually tell you if I'm not mistaken the 0.15 50 to 110 best 60 to 80 70 range for that 0.15 octuplet W8 coil um, that 70 range is perfect awesome flavor not too warm anyway you have the 0.2, which is a W6, so you're going to have three duels. Um, the 0.15 Frogman W4, two duels. And, of course, the W8.15 Canthal, which is going to be four dual coils. Um, specifications, 5 mils, uh, 26 and a half on the diameter. Uh, in case anyone wanted to know, that's the size, the millimeter round tank. Boy, I just sounded really untechnical there. Hey. Uh, yeah. Black, stainless, blue, purple. So they got some other good colors, but I like the red. Um, and if you want to know the difference between that and the 20 and the uh, 2 mil, real quick, I'm just going to go over the differences. The differences being, of course, 2 mil and it's 23 and a half millimeter. On the, so it's more of a 24. This is more of a 27. A little short. Um, I will say, I'll give them credit. Let me show this real. I give credit where credit's due. They give a great caution on the battery safety. Um, you know what? I'm even going to show this real quick because I think this is extremely important. Battery safety. If you're, you know, qualified battery shows that are fully wrapped, nice, neat, no dents, and of course, some really bad examples. I shouldn't say bad, those are good examples, but I don't know anyone that would use those corals. Now it says don't use these on any vape deal product, but I'm gonna tell you right now, if it's in this category down here, or if this is ripped at all or anything, don't use it in any device, folks. Don't use bad batteries in any device, and use your extra batteries. I just put out a holiday vlog yesterday. Get cases, folks, they're cheap. They're a dime a dozen. Most companies selling you know, by the pair are giving them um, as part of the deal, but if not, they're cheap. Amazon, wherever you got to go, you can find them. Battery cases, because um, when you stick those in your purse or your pocket without a case, coins, whatever, triggers, thermal runaway, um, happened to a family member recently. So all about safety, plus the more occasions of battery mishaps leads to um, more ammunition for the FDA. Casa.org is our representation to fight this, to keep vaping, to keep our rights. Um, sorry, a little rant there. C-flat kit. <clears throat> if you don't mind, I'm going to get a quick little drink because my throat is killing me. But the C-flat kit, 350 uh, milliamp, I've already told you that part. It is 40.5 in length, 15.5 wide, and 8 millimeters thick. Um, of course, there's a little curve to all that, but 15 watt max, like I've already said, uh, 1.5 millimeter max. Oh, I forgot to tell you that the 
the pod, the tank, holds 1.5 millim um, milliliters of juice. And you do have, I don't have an image to show you on that, but it does have black, red, black, and white and gold. Um, I like the black red myself, but that's just my personal opinion. It says 1.5 hours. It makes it look like it says that it takes that long to charge, but I want to say that's how much you get uh, time-wise out of vaping out of it. But uh, their manuals are really good. Picture. Um, and like I said, it does show here that this, with the red up, the button up, is mouth to lung. This is direct to lung, but I've really noticed, I haven't noticed much of a difference. Um, other than that, I think that covers it. I hope I kept this short enough for you folks. I hope I still kept you intrigued. At the end of the day, what I say is C-flat kit. Two thumbs up, folks. For a starter, get it. Vapedio.com. Um, and I've tried a lot of these pen styles. I've had no leaking, no gurgling, no spit back. Um, and it might be due to that wonderful, how they did that coil in there, I think, is, how, is why. Um, but I could be wrong. Uh, the only downside, can't see your juice. Two seconds, you can see your juice. And it's a 350 mAh. So the battery life is not great. But if you typically work in an office, you can stick it, let it charge 15, 20 minutes, take it out puff away or if you're in your car you can stick that cord in and vape away while it's plugged in so I don't think that's a major issue um, if they went with a larger battery it had to be a larger device and I think this is a perfect pocketable device whether it be pants what have you five clicks on five clicks off I would have liked to have seen and maybe I'm just missing it so far uh, vape deal if you're watching I would have liked to have seen more of a, a warning to let me know when that battery is getting low but um, if you're new to this and you start, you'll know. You get a certain flavor and hit, and you notice it starts to dwindle down. That means the battery's going down. So, thank you for your time. Thank you for those who have subscribed. If you found this entertaining or informative, or hopefully maybe you found some products that uh, you didn't know existed that you might want to get into, Frogman Tank, I'm telling you, phenomenal. Um, go to VapeTO, check out the prices. I will say on that 240 Pro kit, um, I would buy the mod separate. That way you get both the two, three battery door because they do have a kit that only has the two. That way you have that uh, versatility and then get the Frogman tank separate. Um, that's just my personal opinion. So that's the information I had for you. VapeTO, VapeTO.com. Um, wonderful people, great customer service. I've had nothing but a pleasurable experience with them. And so far, they've knocked it out of the park with this with this tank and with the C-flat kit. A um, little more work to do, I think, on refining the software, but that's an easy firmware upgrade that they can fix to make it a little more uh, logical, especially in the temperature control area. So, um, I'm, and just so you know, I didn't test the temperature control because I'm not a temperature control guy. Um, but I, I could start doing that if people really, really want to see that. But uh, that's the information I got for you. 240, 2 battery, 200. Makes sense? 3 battery, 240 watts, 2 battery, 200. I don't even vape anywhere near that. 75 to 80 is usually my max. Thank you for your time. If you like, subscribe. Please have safe holidays. Keep safe. Cases for your batteries. Um, Love all y'all. Appreciate your time. Comment, thumbs up, thumbs down. What do you want to do? Share it out to somebody you know that might need some of this, like get, like to get some information or needs the information. Other than that, love all y'all. And I'm out. Peace.